While most university reading lists are dominated by books and journal articles, many students learn better from audiovisual sources. There is a long-standing tradition of high-quality historical documentaries, both on television and radio, and the emergence of podcasting has added another medium for those who prefer to learn from images and sound as opposed to the written word. It is of course acceptable to use audiovisual sources in your essays, however, the process of referencing them is very different to more traditional secondary sources. There are other issues with audiovisual sources too. The democratisation of knowledge brought about by the internet brings with it many positives. However, it has also enabled people who lack expertise, experience or qualifications to broadcast their opinions to the masses. So, if you are inclined to refer to YouTube videos in your essays, make sure they are produced by legitimate bodies and feature the opinions of qualified experts. I would not advise you, for want of a better example, to quote my videos directly in your essays. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will instead show you how to reference David Olasogo's BBC documentary, The Unwanted, The Secret Windrush Files. One of the major ways in which audiovisual sources differ from written sources is the collaborative way in which they are created. It takes many more people in creative roles to produce a television programme than write a journal article, and therefore the most pressing piece of information to include is not a single name. After you've created a footnote, the first thing you should write is the title of the work you are referring to. You should present this information in italics, as if it were the title of a book. If you are referring to an episode in a series, you should present this information as if it were a chapter in an edited collection. For more information on how to refer to an edited collection, please watch my previous video on this topic. Next, you should input the format of the audiovisual source you are referring to in squared brackets. The Unwanted is a documentary film, but you may wish to refer to radio series, podcasts or online videos. Next, you should state who is the creative lead on the source you are using. You should use your own discretion when deciding this, and you may opt for the director, presenter or writer. I have chosen the presenter. Next, you will need to include information on the production. This should be presented in a format similar to the publication information for a book. You will need to include the location of the production in the form of a country, the name of the production company and the year in which the audiovisual source premiered or first became available. Finally, you will need to make clear what part of the source you are referring to. When dealing with written sources we use page numbers, but when dealing with audiovisual sources we use time codes. If you wish to present this in minutes and seconds, that is fine, but it is equally valid to be less specific. For the purposes of this demonstration, I will be referring to Olasoga's description of the unfair treatment of Caribbean migrants compared to European migrants, which occurs between the 15th and 17th minutes of the film. You should now have a completed footnote citation referring to an audiovisual source. If there are any questions, please leave a comment or reach out to me on Twitter. If you require further assistance regarding academic writing, history lessons or English comprehension, you can find my tutoring profiles below.